I also read in this research that we conducted on you is that you've said that you might want to be governor of South Carolina one day. Is yes. that is that an aspiration that you're working toward or something that may happen? Or I, I don't know if I'm working toward that. Um, I was speaking with Gwen Eiffel when I the last question that she had was, um, you know, where do you see yourself? You know, what do you, and maybe in five years. And I hate mm. questions like that. Those yeah. are the absolute worst questions to ask anyone, um, especially a politician, because, uh. you know, our, our canned response is supposed to be, I'm going to represent the citizens of blank, blank, as long as they, you know, keep me here. Um, and I, I do want to represent the citizens of District 90 as long as they want me to stay there. I'm not a huge fan of D.C. Um, mm. It's nine square miles. You don't have lawns, and you can't like ride a horse or something. You have to go like. I have a lawn. You have a lawn. I have a lawn. Yeah, that's cool. Front lawn and back lawn. Really? That's rare in DC. A lawnmower. You have a lawnmower too. Yes. That's cool. Well, that's not typical <laughs> in DC, but it, it's nine square miles, and I love the country living. I love sitting on twenty mm -hmm. acres and mm -hmm. having cotton fields behind your house and things like that. Um, but the governor does have a nice house, and um, you know, running a campaign that. I think would mean so much to Southerners, and if you're able to win to be the first black governor of a Southern state, and you can use, you can say whether or not you want to include Virginia in the South or not, um, I think that would mean a lot.